Okay. So this is Mindy again on home gardening. Okay. Well, let me tell you, this is a great that you brought up this topic because Cause, cause the economy is going down and right. people are sure they're going to want Now, let me tell you, this is very interesting. I taught a class, it's almost two years ago, um, at a market here in San Diego. And one of the guys that came, you know, he was, just, he was a nice person. I didn't know. But he gave me his email, like to contact, but it wasn't working. I had his phone. I always get phone and email. I always get both. So I called him, and I don't know why he said this to me, but it was very odd. He says, do you have space for a garden where you live? I said, yeah, I kind of, I have these cement beds that aren't being used, you know, and there's earth. Apartment? Yeah, apartment complex. And, um, and he says, I kind of do. So he came over, checked it out, and we went, so we started it. And my neighbor and I actually split the cost of the fees to have it happen, and I take care of the work, actually. But he had me with setting it up. He brought compost in. I had some. I had a lot of good soil because I already composted it. We went to Home Depot, bought a bunch of different. Pictures of that? Not really, but you can take um, pictures and send it to me. Right? I might have some. I think I ha actually I have some that I could I could email you. Um, so I, anyway, he helped me start. He showed me what to do, and and now I've learned to a point where first of all I, I couldn't live without it because it's it's amazing having it, and the other part is that. I can probably teach anybody how to create a garden in a small space. Like, you know, I don't care how small your space is, you have a little porch. You, you can do What's things. What's the essential elements? Uh, in your compost. It? And also... You can buy new plates and a box. Yes, but you can also create your own, which is much more wonderful you for can, you to be involved. Uh, so easy. Way? Oh, it's so cheap. Way? All you need is a blender. And I'll tell you why. I learned this from someone who does, from Victoria Butenko, who does the raw smoothies. When she would have all the scraps, if you want your compost to go quicker, and I don't have a bin, if you blend it, it's already broken down. And then I have dry leaves. I just do two layers. I do the wet and the dry. And then I keep... First wet. Right, first wet. And then, and then the dry leaves, I cover because it's out in the open and the flies won't come if you cover mm -hmm. it with dry leaves. Very good. And then every so often I'll mix it and wet it. So, and then what, what do I get? I do get the black gold that everyone talks about. Black gold. So that, so the compost, and oh, then... Before it becomes... Well, I only, I amend my soil only twice a year because my, I have such good soil. I used to compost that soil all the time. So it's, it's very healthy. And then the other part that's important that I learned from my friend was Fixing nitrogen into the soil is so easy, so easy to do and important. How do you do that? It's, it's, you sprout peas. You plant them before you plant your seeds. When you, the first time you lay your garden out, then the roots grow go deep. You actually will get peas you can eat, but the roots go into deeper into the soil. So you, you're fixing. And if you want to keep doing it, when you plant new seeds, you could do that. But you always do prefer before you plant the seeds. What you sprout them first? You sprout the peas. You soak and sprout them, and then you put them in the ground, and you put them in before you're going to plant your seeds. I think like a week or so Why? before. It uh, fixes yeah. the nitrogen in the soil. Nitrogen oh, is very important oh, for your soil, oh, so you can naturally do it. And he showed me to. And then this, the roots grow very deep, and then you have actual peas coming out. Yes. Green peas? Yes, just dried green, green peas. peas. The dried peas oh, from, the, wow. from the health food store. Yeah, that's it. And you sprout them, just and a little sprout, and then you plant them. It. I don't know, just just put up as much as you want in your thing, and then you can have peas to eat as well. Whoa. And then when they're done and dry out, I cut them from the top of the soil, but the roots are still under the ground. Okay, so what about these boxes oh, where you plant, where you put the compost in? How, I just make a little, do make I don't have a box, I just took some wood, uh -huh. I, uh, on my, earth, where my, like a part of my, where my property, you know, where, where oh, I live, okay. and I just, I just put, some pieces of wood to make kind of like a little box, but it's not a real box, and then I just put it there, and that's it. So you bought the wood? Actually, the wood was around. It was around my place. But yeah, you can buy the wood at Home Depot or whatever, oh, yeah. Wow, it's very, that's a cool thing. Yeah, and so now I have my garden. It's my, it's my, let's yeah. say, I've been growing for almost two years, yeah, September. Let's say this is a flat surface. Right? right. And so how do you make it stand like that? Oh, the wood? The wood. I just put some, 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 some rocks. Rocks around it. Some rocks or a piece of, if you have bricks, anything. And, it, oh, and, and the end is against the wall. One part is against the wall. So I have against the wall and then I have, yeah, and so I just close it up. Yeah, so I made it up. I made it up myself you to do that. So I love it. I love it. It's, oh, it's wonderful. Can, can you make a DVD on that? 
on how to make a, an apartment garden. Sure, we can definitely do it. If you next time you come, email. if you want to film me yeah. at my place. Yeah, where is your place? And Pacific Beach. It's not far from here. It's like 20 minutes, not even 10, mm -hmm. 15, yeah. Maybe yeah. next if we'll you come. Plans. Yeah, I have your I have your information, and I'll email you some pictures of my garden so yeah. you can put them to them. Yeah, I'm blown. I'm blown. Yeah. Anyway, but this anyway. person was wonderful, and it turns out he's from the Hare Krishna Temple, but I didn't know that he lives now in actually in close to Los Angeles. He created the garden there. He has a garden. He create. He he was going to move the garden. Plant. That's very oh, important. um, I'm planting this time around. I put. Well, my tomatoes are growing for my combo. I didn't plant okay. my tomatoes. The lettuces, lettuce I, seasons, and then what do you plant? I plant lettuces. lettuces now. I have uh, herbs I plant all year round, different herbs like parsley and dill and cilantro and basil. And I have a bunch of different kinds of lettuces. I also do some. I have some chard growing. I've got some cucumbers. But I say more... In the winter, they could still grow, but yeah, and I planted, what else did I plant? Um, I'm to think I, when I first planted, I was planting other things like radishes and, 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 and um, other herbs, but I stay with things that are more like mild. And, Lettuces. Yeah, mostly lettuce, mostly mild, very yeah, light basil, green. Basil, tomato. Basil and, and cilantro and parsley and dill. Right. And um, yeah, mostly different, like I have like five or six different varieties of lettuces, all, mostly heirloom seeds that I bought growing and I love Very it. I put nice. a lot of seeds out because I don't know what's going to take. So I want to, you know, make sure that, that, and also because of the, uh, the restrictions now. Mm -hmm. we can't water so, much. so how do you kind of feel? I have steaks, which I was using for something else. And then I just put, I had a, a sheet that I was using. I created my own thing oh, too. Oh, wow. A sheet and I used ties and I, and it, and it, and because it's a cement block, so it's not all uh -huh. the way on the ground. I, you know, it's, it's, it, I can do it and it stays. It stays and it put. does grow, you yeah. are, it's growing. You know, it's been growing. Before we had the restrictions, I was already growing and the, the plants are already growing. So it's, uh, you know, I didn't have to water the, the any seeds every day. When you're first planting, you must water the seeds every day or they'll dry out. Oh. And you water usually even two times a day. So you, uh, the seeds you just put underneath the ground and right. water. That's uh -huh. it? That's it. And the compost I do twice a year. Then I take out whatever. If it's How long before I... Oh, you can buy the compost from Whole Foods first. Well, if you want to. If but like want. I said, I've already been... See, I've been oh, composting because. for... Both areas. How long before you started the garden? Have the garden I... Is, composting. Um, I do it every six months. I add new compost to the soil. Oh, I, mm -hmm. I amend, it's called amending the soil. I add more, so I add more nutrients to the soil. But it's, it's already a good soil. It's already been composted for years before I started the garden. Wow. So you see, I was already composting. What I would do, and, I, and it wasn't the traditional composting. I didn't blend. All I did was put the scraps, dug a hole, put the scraps in, cover, wet it, cover it. That's it. That's all I did. I didn't even blend it at the time because I didn't realize that was an option. I never thought of it. I don't know. No, so Victoria Butenko uh -huh. came up with that from the green smoothie. She said, oh, why don't we just yeah. blend our scraps? It's easier to break down. So, But still, the soil, still, it all broke down because all it was was fruits and vegetable scraps. Uh -huh. And it, that's why I had such good soil. Wow. The quality of my soil. I I created my own healthy soil by, by doing that. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. We'll connect again. Yes, we will. We'll All right. We will. We'll Email me. Okay. See ya. Bye.